Greetings people of the internet, it is I, Knuckles Productions 360, and today I have another unboxing to show you. And, well, review. Today I'm going to be reviewing and unboxing the Monopoly Angry Birds game. Now, this is from Hasbro, Hasbro Gaming, I uh, can't pronounce words today, and yeah, this is obviously a Monopoly version of Angry Birds. So you can see on the sides it says the logo and the game company, there's the Rovio logo, and also apparently... This has been Angry Birds movie proofed. Because look, there's a poster, we'll get to that in a second. But um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's have a look. So you can see it says five to up and you can play this up to four to, or two to four players. So uh, if you have your friends lying around and you have this game, then uh, go ahead and play it. So uh, on the back, it shows you, shows you right here. Um, well what it says so it says build launch win travel around the board by buying your favorite angry birds characters take aim and launch them launch your tokens to get chance cards whatever the heck that means so apparently there's four worlds in this game so launch your angry birds tokens into the world into the world's familiar from the classic games the, the good ones Space, which I was very surprised to see. Go out of all of them. And Stella. Be because why not? So let's get this unboxed then. So you can see you've got character tokens and yeah, let's get started. Right. So to unbox it, I'm going to be using scissors because I don't want to damage the box. And uh, this is a bit of a warning. Um, if you're going to unbox this, please make sure you get an adult to do this or just be careful with scissors. So, let's get this open. I think that, yeah, there we go. I believe there's uh, one more at the top. There we go. I think I should have done it. So, let's, uh, let's get this uh, open then. And on the inside, so. Oh wait, hang on. I've got one. It's a bit of a. There we go. So it kind of opens up from the side, I guess. And here it is. Here is the game itself. So I'm gonna start with all the pieces, and uh, we'll take it from there. So here's what you get in the set. You get all of this amazing uh, stuff. You also get this uh, brown slingshot. Uh, but first of all, let's take a look at all the little trinkets that you get. Starting with the uh, the four character tokens. So first of all, we have Red. And to be honest, he actually looks quite good. I mean, the quality of control in these guys aren't the best. But I'll give credit, they actually did do a lot of quite good effort into it. You see the little eye patterns, the little dots coming down. And the feathers, the colouring, it doesn't clash too much. And the eyebrows, they got this really well done. And uh, in case if you're wondering, uh, here he is compared to the um, Jazzwares um, red figure, the uh, the angry one that does the angry teeth. And he's uh, he's quite big in comparison. And here he is next to the Japanese bootlegged Angry Birds figure of red. So yeah, there's quite a lot in difference, but yeah, I think they look good. So yeah. So there's uh, the reds. I'll put that one over there. All right, so next up we have Bomb. Now you might already think that Bomb, oh, it must just be another Bomb character. Well, it's actually a different version. This is the version um, from the Angry Birds Go artwork. Yes, the Angry Birds Go artwork. Apparently made it into this and I was quite surprised to see this. But honestly, it looks all right actually. Uh, the helmet itself looks quite good. Uh, the shade of yellow, however, is my only nitpick because it's supposed to be like a bright yellow, but here it's more tanned down. You can see kind of there, there but I, I think the detail looks good. And in case you're wondering, yes, here he is compared to the other bomb figure from the, uh, the Jazz of Wes bomb figure. And here he is next to the bootlegged um, bomb figure from Japan or China or whatever it's from. I really don't know what they were from. But yeah, so there's uh, there's the bomb figure. 
All right, so now we get on to the two characters who are kind of exclusive in this set. But ladies first, here is Stella. Now, um, Stella here looks actually quite cool, to be honest. Um, her beak is tiny in comparison to how she's supposed to look, but to be honest, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, the pink bird is, well, whatever in used to call her. Here she looks good. She's got like the little fluff on her hair like that. And yeah, I think it's quite good. And if you're wondering, I do not have, there is um, no kind of classic design of Stella that I, I guess Jazzwares has made. So I have no, I, so I can't compare her to that. And in case you're wondering, I do not own the Mattel version of Stella. Uh, because, I don't know, it's just hard to find, really. Some of the later Mattel Angry Birds games were just really quite hard to find. I mean, I did see one with Bubbles, but I just couldn't find him, to be honest. But I think she looks great. Um, here she is compared to the red in the set. Yeah, she's, uh, she's got a little bit small, but I can make some use out of that. But, yeah. So, there's the, uh, pink bird. So now we move on to the last character token, which caught me by surprise, Icebird. Now this guy doesn't have a name since he only appeared in one game, uh, but I call him Frosty because, well, you know, he's an ice cube. And he actually looks kind of cool. I mean, he's got that frosty design and it's very good. In case you're wondering, Icebird was from Angry Birds Space. He was one of the exclusive birds to the game. and. Yeah, it just makes me really annoyed that he only appeared in one game and he didn't get to, you know, have an encore and this was kind of the last remains of Icebird, or Frosty, but to be honest, he looks pretty good. Uh, again, I don't have the, uh, the Mattel version, because the Mattel version is actually quite cool, it's a lot more softer and bigger, but yeah, this is, uh, this will do. So, there you go, uh, there's Frosty. So now that I've done with the character tokens, Here's what you get in the set. Uh, so here's all the things that you get. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is the eggs in this set. Now these, I think, hang on, if the camera can focus. But yeah, uh, these eggs, I think they represent the houses or the combs um, that you put on uh, properties in Monopoly because, um, I don't know, I think it says in the manual, it doesn't explain too much. Hang on. Yes, I think they are. And, yeah, I just, I think they look like a nice little design, so, yeah. So, congrats to Hasbro Gaming for doing that. And, yeah. You also get character tokens. Which is, by far, the best part. It's the four characters. Before, so you get Red, Stella, Icebird, and uh, Bomb there. So there you go. They look very nice. And you also get this six side dice. Now, oh boy, this dice does look pretty cool. So there's a question mark with the eggs, I guess. So I don't know what that is. There's the number two, there's four, five, and then one, and then. Soon six, so yeah, it's a seven side dice actually, so that's quite cool. Or six side dice, I think it's six. Besides that, there's also the instruction manual. Yes, the game guide to this. And yeah. So, and then we also have the Angry Birds Mono Mono <laughs> Monopoly Money. And yeah, it looks good. I like uh, the red artwork that they use from the original game, but it's more coloured down and it's one dollar. Uh, but this is all the money we get in the game. That's that's really it. So I'm gonna just push that to the side right there. And so here's the entire game, really. Um, there's the slingshot right here, which, um, to be honest, I think this slingshot's a little bad, to be honest. I mean, it doesn't have any of the colour that the other slingshots have, but I think it's all right. Another cool thing that you also get in the set is uh, these, which you can uh, put out. And you can see they have the pigs on display, which I think are pretty funny, actually, because you've got the classic artwork of all the characters. And yes, there is the Toons designs, which most of you know I, 
adore Angry Birds tunes because it's the perfect series. So what I think you do in the game, now think, I'm not exactly sure on how to play this, but um, I think what you do is you roll around, you buy the properties, and that if someone lands on the, um, I don't know, I think it says, yeah, you get one of the chances to, um, to knock down. Uh, so yeah, if you land on a chance card, which is all the way over there, then you get a turn to land on the, uh, to essentially take down one of the pigs. And it, I guess you choose or which one you're in, which world you're in. Uh, by the arrows pointing. So, um, so say I'm uh, kind of here in the world and I'm Ice Bird and I try and take down, um, so I'm in the Go world. So I'm Ice Bird and I'm going to take down one of the bird, one of the pigs. So let's see, can I do this? Can I, can I do this? Ah, nearly did it. Hang on, wait, let me try that again. I'm gonna be determined to take down one of them. The slingshot's quite weak, to be honest. Yes! Caught him! So I think it really depends on... Yes, yeah, so look, the chance card. So it allows... So advance to the space of your choice, see? So what I think happens is, is that when you hit one of the pigs, uh, you can choose a space to go to or something. But yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of really it so far. So that's really the game for you and I honestly don't know how much to play but there's one thing we do have to check out before we end the video. Now they said on the box that there's a Angry Birds movie poster included. Oh god this is going to be cringe. So let's take a look at this. Oh god. Oh god. I got it white. Uh... So here's the poster to the Angry Birds uh, movie. Oh wait, hang on. Let me just just the camera. There we go. Oh god, it's uh, well at least it doesn't show the arms and legs, so I'm happy about that. It's one of my favourite uh, posters on the film because it just shows the face of the character and boom. So that's all really you get in this uh, thing. And if you want to find it, uh, your best chances are eBay, but the game can be quite hard to find because it came out in 2016. Uh, I recently got mine on eBay for I think 20 quid or something I paid, but yeah, I, th I think it was. Uh, it was a birthday present, so I don't know how much uh, money my folks spent on it. So yeah. So thank you all so much for watching and uh, yeah, like, comment and subscribe and uh, it helps out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next episode or the next video. So bye guys.